The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Captain Bob Smith, Director of Testing. Well, welcome to Botest.com. Today I'm on the 192 Fish and Ski from Vectra. Now this is a new model for them this year. It's built on the hull of one of their best-selling runabouts, but they've added a lot of fishability features. So the family likes to fish and ski. has got a great combination. So if I come up alongside and you grab a line, we'll take a walk through with the 192 Fish and Ski from Vectra. The Pro Sport Series takes on automotive styling and the crossover value by pulling the fishing features and ski features together for one boat for the family. With a few quick and simple changes, you can go from an early morning fish outing to a hard-running afternoon of slalom skiing. The Pro Sport Series is truly versatile. From the water level, the only indication she's a fishing rig is the trolling motor and fish finder on the bow. Now part of the setup in the fishing rig is you put a filler cushion up front, you pull the soft cushions out to keep them clean, and add a fishing chair as I've done here, and then you're ready to do some serious fishing. Up front, I've got a Minn Kota Power Drive 55 for my trolling motor, and I've got a Lowrance X50D6 to watch the bottom and look for the fish. If you're just going out for a sunset cruise or have some fun skiing with the family, then remove the filter, put in the cushions, and take off the trolling motor, and you're ready to go out and have some fun. On the foredeck, you can set up a comfortable casting chair when needed to relax while fishing. In the bow, a Lowrance PD55 fits neatly on the starboard edge and a trolling motor fits in a mounting plate on the port edge with a tethered foot control. In the ski mode, setting up front can be arranged for two, just sit back and relax. Two cup holders just forward of the windshield are within easy reach. The windshield is a full frame wraparound style with large center walkthrough for easy access fore and aft. The anchor and road store neatly in a bin under the bow cushion and the side storage bins hold the two trolling motor batteries for the 24 volt system. The large centerline deck locker has a painted floor and sturdy lid. The bin is plenty large to store skis and wakeboards as well as some fishing gear. Helm and companion seats are open back to increase ventilation and provide cooler rides. They also rotate and slide fore and aft. Next to the companion station is a grab rail and MP3 jack so you can bring along your own favorite mix of music. Side pockets add room for storing lotions, sunglasses, and small items. In the upper glove box, Sylvan has mounted the stereo and the lower box is plenty large to keep all your important items dry. The lid even has two cup holders built into it. The speakers are mounted in the footwells of the companion and helm stations. At the helm, you have a padded three-spoke wheel with rack and pinion steering, lighted rocker switches protected by push-button circuit breakers, and analog gauges supplemented by a digital depth finder. In true dual identity mode, you've got a ski mode in the stern as well. Several people can relax here in the back and enjoy the view. Two seats on either side of the aft fold down when storing or trailering your boat. These can also be removed or used as casting chairs. There's also a center bench seat with added storage. Cup holders are built into the deck next to the side seats and small storage pockets are in the side wells for sunglasses and small stuff. In fishing mode, you pull the cushions off, add a casting chair as I have here or keep it open for a fishing deck and you've also got a live well right here. The live well is under the port side of the aft casting deck next to the casting seat position. The Mercruiser 4.3 liter engine fits neatly under the aft fishing deck with a bend to starboard to keep the damp life jackets and use the engine heat to dry them. One of the other great pleasures of a ski boat is dropping an anchor and jumping into water to enjoy a cool dip. Now while you're in there, you're probably going to want to change the tunes. Now they take care of that on the port side with a remote stereo control. At night, you've got LED lights that light up the swim platform. In the center, you've got a center tow ring so you can enjoy the ski sports. Over on the starboard side, you've got a grab handle and a concealed three-step telescoping swim ladder so you can get back on board without help. The Vector 192 IO Fish and Ski is 19 feet 2 inches length overall and has a 98 inch beam. We tested the Vector 192 on an unusually windy day on Lake Wawasee and found that she was a very good handling boat, easy to maneuver around the docks and quite safe and stable throughout. I found her top speed to be 44.8 miles per hour, 4800 RPM, and her cruise speed to be 37.8 miles per hour, 4000 RPMs. This will deliver 134 miles on a full tank of fuel. So if you're a family that truly likes to fish and ski, you've got a beautiful combination with the 192 Fish and Ski from Vectra.